Okay, well, hey, KTC, we got an exciting weekly update for you today. I know all of you have heard the information or the announcements from Public Health uh, yesterday about adult sports resuming, so incredibly excited about that. Um, <laughs> and I think there's a really good chance, I'm going to say more chance now, I'm more optimistic that Iron Man's going to happen than not, which, to be honest, last week was the total opposite, where... Uh, actually, on Tuesday, I was uh, just getting ready for a swim, and uh, I won't name any names here, but <laughs> one of my friends got out of the pool and uh, came over and said, Hey, Corey, I have on really good authority that like Iron Man 99% chance, not happening. <laughs> and this is right before I'm about to hit a hard swim and you know my biggest uh, volume week yet, and uh, I just went like this. <sighs> I know, I don't think it's happening either. And, um, yeah, thank goodness. Uh, thanks, Pat, for being there. Got me going again. And I had to kind of, you know, recalibrate, rethink about how I'm going to motivate myself uh, to maintain this type of training throughout the summer. Maybe it was going to go, you know, go down there and do the the race anyway. Maybe it was look for a late season Ironman. Um, you know, even on the weekend I got on and I was watching the Ironman uh, North American Championships in uh, Oklahoma, trying to just get into the into the the zone of uh, Ironman racing again, <laughs> vicariously through the people who are racing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you know, as soon as I heard that announcement that uh, outdoor events and festivals, you know, they can be happening. An outdoor event like Ironman, if they have a really solid safety plan and the city's a, a go, then I'm feeling very optimistic that uh, this is actually going to happen. So if you were on the Ironman training plan and fell off, time to get back on because I guarantee you, if you don't, it will be the worst day of your life. <laughs> so suffer a lot of days before so that you can really enjoy Ironman Day. And uh, with so many of us going down, it is going to be an absolutely fantastic day. So anyway, uh, I'm super excited and yeah, let's keep working. I'm in program mode right now or programming mode. So updating all the training plans. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. I got a whole bunch of exciting stuff coming uh, with um, some more events that uh, we can run, some sprints, some standards, some halves, uh, training events, because again, I know most of the races still have been removed from the calendar. Uh, not sure whether we'll see anything later, you know, into August or September maybe, but um, anyway, uh, we'll do our best to, uh, to keep you moving, keep you motivated. Uh, as we move through. Uh, on those training events though, we do have some coming up in the very near future. Um, this one I have up right now is the Oliver Day. So right now we got six people heading down to Oliver, which I'm incredibly excited about. It's an awesome spot right on the beach. Uh, lake's nice and warm. Uh, if you don't want to do a half, you can do a sprint or not a sprint, I guess a standard. Uh, we just cut everything in half. It'll be about a standard. And uh, yeah, so far I got Dustin, Julie, Vanessa, Ron, Georgia, and myself. So you guys are committed now. It's on video. <laughs> but if you haven't signed up yet, go to the uh, the Facebook group and uh, jump in on that. Uh, if you're not on Facebook, uh, you can just shoot me an email too. That works uh, well enough. And uh, I'll make sure that you're added to the list. I will be reaching out with more information and course maps and different things like that. Uh, if anyone is coming down and you're bringing someone with you that wants to volunteer and just kind of be around, watch some bikes for a bit, um, hang over to the beach, really tough day. Uh, even maybe jump in a kayak and be our swim boy because we got to sort that out. Uh, that would be awesome. And again, if you're bringing anyone down, shoot me an email and, um, yeah, that would be a huge help. Um, so that's in two weeks. Next week, though, we also have this little 5K PB uh, attempt, which uh, I've been working for personally. I know a couple of the athletes I've put into the uh, the plan, you know, working a little bit of speed right now. So if you want to see uh, any fruits of your labor over the last couple of uh, weeks, months, uh, looking to hit this one. Uh, Right now, just Rob, Dustin, and I, and uh, I encourage anyone else that wants to come out uh, and uh, see what you can do and beat any personal times. Uh, nice, fast, flast, uh, flast, <laughs> fast course. Uh, it is certified, <laughs> according to Dustin. Where'd that post go? I lost it. Um, 
Yeah, it's the it's a fast fast five thousand fast summer summer fast five. I don't know <laughs> something like that. Anyway, uh, that is uh, on the Saturday, June fifth. So. Uh, stay tuned for, again, more training events as uh, we progress through summer. That being said, going back and talking about... Uh, I'm going to actually wait off on the leaderboard here because uh, Dustin, Jason, Kate, you crushed my dreams of being on the podium this week. But um, in terms of swimming, hopefully we can get back in the pool uh, as soon as possible. My guess is probably three to four weeks. Three weeks, best case, four weeks probably realistic five weeks i you know dragged my feet on something no i'm not going to do that i really want to get back with you guys uh so i will be sending in a survey as well about open water swimming pool swimming maybe doing a mix of both um maybe something on the weekend which again probably more tied to some of these training events or we might just leave that as a loose drop-in thing um and um, other than that, probably going to leave the bike and the run as casual at the moment. Um, yeah, we'll see. That being said, please feel free if you're doing a long ride, uh, especially on the weekends now as they're, they're lengthening it out, throw it up on Facebook. Someone will probably jump on with you. Um, for anyone that wants a track workout, Wednesday morning, 9 a.m., there's three or four of us that have been quite consistent so uh if you want to come down for a really good solid quality run workout uh, i know most of you work at that time but if you don't have a job uh or you have a job that's flexible or you're retired a uh, ton of fun uh down there so anyway stay tuned uh the majority of our focus right now will be just getting back to swimming um other than that the other thing that will be coming your way is i have the coupon codes for this dynamic cyclist uh which is a new company that i'm working for uh, they have put together two years <laughs> you have no shortage of content in terms of stretch and mobility training um you know really well thought out and you know, they, they put it together quite well in terms of these stretch and mobility routines. You just got to follow along. I'm actually going to be programming them into some of the training peaks, training plans and, and workouts. So if you want to access those, uh, just use the coupon code, sign up. Again, it's free. It's usually $10 a month and they're going to give us, everyone on the team has access to this. So nice benefit. And uh, if you're not doing mobility, flexibility work, Now's the time to start. <laughs> there are also uh, injury prevention, rehab programming, uh, strength training as well. So again, if you just want to follow along with something that is specific for cyclists, uh, again, it cross, crosses over into the running and swimming world uh, quite well as, as well. So I think as a well-rounded program of doing the little things that you probably should do that you don't, hopefully this answers that need. And if not, well, Keep getting injured and uh, being frustrated with not being able to train consistently. <laughs> so last but not least uh, is the leaderboard. So Dustin, huge week, almost to 24 hours. Amazing. Uh, Jason, though, and crushing it this week, Jason. Uh, eight hours, 44 minutes. Uh, number two, 22 hours, 41 minutes. And Kate, I thought for sure I was at least going to get third. <laughs> Well done, 18 hours, 10 minutes. So uh, to everyone, congratulations. I brought up the uh, the first loser. And um, well, I won't call all of you looters below, but uh, we did lose. Uh, look at this, so 11 over 12 hours. I think that is the highest volume that I have seen. Uh, and then, I mean, just under 10 hours, no joke. Seven hours, no joke, or almost eight hours. Uh, you guys are absolutely crushing it. It'd be like we are on full race mode um looking at swim times there we go uh jason uh puts the hours in the pool i'm runner up and rob nicely done ride time probably dustin yep 17 hours man he live on that bike uh 13 hours 38 minutes for jason and kate uh so we know where the focus is and then run time rob putting a lot of miles on the legs well done uh rob swan uh just under eight hours dustin 6 10 and kate 5 10 so uh well done everybody um 
Oh, I didn't uh, do the top here. Longest uh, distance, Dustin. I made that one. All right, 449 and uh, Jason, 424. Longest activity, Ava out there, lo the longest, four and a half hours almost. Uh, same with Vanessa and same with Matt. So maybe you guys were on the same ride together and uh, Ava decided to do a few more circles in the parking lot. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but anyway, great job, everybody. Keep up the hard work. Again, Iron Man, I'm going to say right now is on. I will uh, be sending out those surveys uh, shortly. I'll be sending out your... Uh, links to the free dynamic cyclist uh, program shortly and hopefully we will be back training together again shortly <laughs> until then have a great week everybody and we will talk to you soon bye bye